Olney. Drilled in low by Gray. Away by Proctor, up into the centre circle. Hooked away by Gage. Platt. Oh, and Birch is clear on the right. Olney's at the near post. The cross! He's got it! Paul Birch. What a delighted young man. And there's the man who supplied the pass, David Platt. Looked up, saw Birch steaming in on the right, laid it off, and with Ian only screaming for the ball at the far post, Birch looked up, picked his spot, and left Piers helpless. Lovely turn from Platt. Birch on the run, Piers comes across, and Birch drills it. Gage again, will go to the line, the cross will come in. First time shot from Stuart Gray, up in the area. Fell to his right foot, which is not uh, normally his best. Got the shot in, but Piers made the save. And McGrath and uh, Stuart Ripley having a right old ding dong. And Mr. Shapter just uh, wants a quiet word with McGrath. Who runs away. So Parkinson will hit this free kick in. The header comes in! Oh, on the bar! It's in! So right down at the other end, Villa having gone into the lead and Middlesbrough have equalised. The free kick from Parkinson. Superb header by Coleman at the far post. I think Spink got a touch to it on the bar. He did. It bounced down. And there was Bernie Slaven. But he's stopped by Proctor. Slaven sweeps it wide. Manfield's there, does well. Well played, Paul Birch. To Gage. And it goes. David Platt's there. Can he get in? Oh, in the bar. It looked a forlorn chase for a moment, but then David Platt, that extra spurt, got there, hit it with his left foot. But it crashed against the bar and went over the top. Inside to Kernan. Nielsen with him. Nielsen gets it away, not very far. Only to Brennan. Back to Kerr, Slaven, to Kerr again, the shot comes in! And that's just over the top, and that really was a lovely move. Started and finished by Paul Kerr. Price with the throw again. Good turn from Daly. The cross comes in. Ormond Roy back with Cowens. Oh, a tremendous save from Piers. Gordon Cowens placed that. He didn't hit it perhaps as hard as he'd like. Deliberately placed. Piers took off. Outside of the boot. Tremendous save. Cowens. Good ball to Olney. Now, can he make something of this? No, he can't because Coleman, who's played so well tonight, Fires it away up to Kernahan and a burrow break again. Slaven going to the middle. Kernahan still has it, drills it. That wasn't far away. And Kernan holds his head. Can Villa from somewhere conjure up something in these last few minutes? They'll have to wait because it's Burra with Kerr. He's got Slaven outside him, pulled down by Gage. And I think that Kevin Gage is going to find his name in Mr. Shapter's notebook. Which would be a pity in a way. Because this game has been played in the very best of spirits. And in fact, Mr. Shapter just gives him a word of warning. Good refereeing. But Villa find themselves in an awkward situation with just a minute to go. 
free kick quickly taken. Brennan drills it. Oh, it's there! What an incredible goal. The Villa wall lined up. Brennan from about 35 yards. Hit an absolute screamer that Spink got a hand to, I suspect, but couldn't stop it going in. Wickedly hit. And that really was a magnificent strike from Brennan.